This is a short demonstration using Talon voice control. We'll start by downloading and installing the software. Go to talonvoice.com, select download. It's a standard Mac install. Just drag it into the applications folder. Talon will appear in the menu bar. You can select your microphone um, as well as the speech recognition engine. You can use Dragon or the built-in one. Once installed and running, Talon has no functionality. Talon is fully customizable using Python scripts. We'll go to the learn section and download the basic keys script all the python scripts must be placed under the talon user directory which is easily opened here take a look at this script. Now that we've loaded this file into the user directory, we can do the alphabet, which is the most basic and probably one of the most important things you'll need to know with Talon. Air, bat, cap, drum, each, fine. Gust, harp, sit, jury, crunch, look, made, near. Odd, pit, quench, red, sun, trap, urge, vest. Whale, plex, yank, zip. The basic keys file also comes with modifiers, which you can use in combination with the alphabet. Command trap. Trap each, sun, trap, delete, enter, find. Air made. Command whale. And trap. Red urge near. Enter. Fine. Note the yellow text. This is actually coming from the Vimium plugin for Chrome. You can activate it with the F key by default, which is fine using the Talon alphabet. Now I'm going to delete the basic keys file out of the user directory and download the full uh, Talon community repo. Again, go to learn, Talon community, and I'm just going to clone this into um, Talon user directory. The Talon community repo has a ton of functionality. I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them. Uh, first, I'm going to switch to Dragon as my speech recognition engine. Wait for it. Talon automatically detects um, Dragon and switches to it, which is nice. When you're using Talon with Dragon, you need to put it in a sleep mode. Go to sleep. Now we can demonstrate some of the community features. 
Focus Chrome. Swick. Launch text edit. Sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy brown dog. Dot. Shock. Shock. Dragon mode. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy brown dog. Period. Talon mode. Talon sleep. So note I used the keyword sentence in Talon mode, followed by a bunch of text. If you want to speak freely in dictation mode, you can say dragon mode. Notice even though Talon's asleep, it's listening. Talon wake. The community repo has some great window control features. Launch followed by an application name. Focus followed by an application name. Swick will toggle between applications. Gibby will toggle between windows. And Snap will resize windows. I can demonstrate a few of those. Go to sleep. Launch Firefox. Command quench. Focus Atom, Swick, Focus Chrome, Command Shift Near, Snap Right, Gibby, Snap Left, Gibby, Command Whale, R Randall, Command Whale, Shift, Snap Window, Snap Screen, Focus text, focus text edit, it's worth noting that almost all of these commands can be customized um, if you prefer to use a different word. Um, some of them have multiple options, go to sleep, focus atom, search in all files, Gust, sit, bat, bat, yank, shock, duke. You can see here Gibby for switching between windows in the same application already has an alias. Um, and you can modify these <coughs> key map values to whatever makes sense for you. Focus text wrangler. Select the all junk. Shock. Snake first name equaft quote. Tridal first name quote. Shock. Snake last name equaft quote. Tridal last name quote. Shock. Shock. Plex equaft Kirk. Shock. Wink. Jeep. Doom. Shock. Jeep, tarp, cram first name, cold scap, snake last name, scram, snake first name, comma, shock, cram last name, cold scap, snake last name. Talon scripting is organized into contexts. Um, contexts always have a name, and then they can optionally be scoped to applications and or file types, etc. cetera. Um, there is a help system currently. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Scram, junk, junk. Help alphabet. Help context. Cancel. The help function can be quite useful. However, you will often find yourself looking into the source code. For example, here's the git command set. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. 
and Dizzle. Help context. You can see here that the uh, help is basically displaying all of the key maps. So in the case of Git, this is super useful. Um, other contexts are not as clear in the help environment. Cancel. All right, I think that's it. Hopefully this helps somebody.